Alex. Alex uh, writes about, he writes, Alex was a big guy and he was a bouncer among other things, among other things, and he writes about the Mounties and the new ones and the old ones. Now, uh, I personally, I've always liked the deputies of Clarkmans County and that. They're big brutes, but friendly, and they're, you know, they're so big that they can just hug you and just pick you up on that. Uh, they're huge guys. I, they must weigh 250 pounds. But, but you know, friendly, well, if you're on good relationship with them, and then I think the same thing is true with Multnomah County uh, deputies. I've seen them over at the Gresham Regional Library. Now, why does a library have to have a deputy sheriff in the library to keep order? I don't know, but I think there's some kind of campground at, uh, well, you know, the, the guys, it's usually guys that are camping out, they, uh, you know, uh, they winter, they shelter in the library, yes. And some of them, well, uh, that is uh, something else. So uh, with the deputy there, it's all quiet and good order and that. But, but my main point is that those deputies, they're big guys and that. And that's the way it used to be, that would, the way it used to be in Canada and the U.S. too for that matter. And now the deputies the sheriffs uh, in uh, Canada, they're, you know, they're smaller guys, probably college educated, you know. Uh, uh, who knows what, you know, a couple of years community college, maybe a bachelor's degree or what. But they're small, and uh, they're smaller than the big guys, and uh, they're armed. They got those, uh, those pistols strapped on them, yes, and the rule is, that if the deputy sheriff, the police officer, feels that his life is threatened, it's okay to take the pistol out and uh, and shoot. Now that or if someone's their life is threatened in that, so they make they make that uh, they make that judgment. So Alex comments on that and said that in the old days with the big 250 pound gorilla. Uh, Deputies, why? Uh, somebody had a knife, for example. They didn't need to shoot them. They had a knife stick, a baton. Yes, they'd crack them on the arm with that, probably breaking their arm. Yes, and uh, disarm them. Yes. So, uh, so that's it. Uh, but, but it's a r risky. You know, it's easy to talk about it, but it is a risky business. Uh, you know, disarming a person with a knife, you know, you might make a blunder or something and they plunge that knife in you and they got you. And if they hit around the heart, why, and it's curtains for you. So, uh, so that's that. Now, uh, that is the situation that we have in Portland. That is the situation. I don't know uh, whether it's four people or exactly what, and uh, and uh, I don't know. Just recently, uh, a day or two ago, uh, I don't know. There's some kind of conflict, and uh, well, oh, I remember this story. It's on 82nd Avenue, but I don't know where. I'll, I could say Powell Boulevard, make it up, but it's someplace on 82nd Avenue. There's a shopping area there, and there are a lot of homeless people there uh, panhandling and begging for money, and uh, and that. And there's a private, there's a private security person there. I think a lady, see, and and uh, some guy. I took it in his head that he didn't like her and threatened to kill her verbally on due times. Well, now you begin to take that a little bit seriously. And this person, this person, this man, lived in an abandoned car wash. Well, you know how cold it's been and the terrible winds. How would you like to spend a the night there? And that, no, you 
you'd be grumpy too and out of your mind. And uh, and that so I don't know, he's threatened her or something. She called nine one one and a police come out and uh, they found him. They found him in the uh, car wash.